Hey guys, my name is David Seitz and I'm here with another unboxing for you. Can you guess what this is? You probably can if you have already read the title. Inside this lovely Apple bag is the Yeti Pro microphone. It's the Yeti Pro and there's a difference. I'll show you what the differences are between this Yeti microphone and the first Yeti microphone, but just know that this is the Yeti Pro microphone. Of course, you can probably already guess like anything that has the name Pro tagged onto it, it's a little bit better than the original version. Before we do anything, let's take a look at the box here. It's kind of nice. It's got a nice design to it. Here's the top of it. A cute little image of a Yeti singing and I guess being recorded by the uh, microphone inside the box. Here's some of the stuff in the back. I don't really feel like I should go through all of the details of uh, the box, but um, if you want, I suppose you could pause this video and read through the things yourself. Who doesn't want to see the bottom, right? There's a cute little um, Yeti sitting right there. So that's the box. I actually don't care much for the box. I like the boxes on most Apple products, but the boxing for this isn't isn't that special to me. This box is kind of hard to open. Alright, so let's just pull this white box out. Nothing else inside of there, we can toss that to the side. And you can see here the actual hardware is boxed inside of another box. I kind of wonder why they do it that way. Why don't they just print everything on the outside of that box? We're gonna cut this tape off here. Oh, <laughs> that's some heavy duty tape. I just tried to cut through it and nothing even cut. Or maybe I just have a really crappy knife. Don't blame the knife, blame the tape. Alright, so we've cut that loose, so let's take a look inside. Right away, you get your USB cord, um, your XLR cord, and then what looks to be a booklet with lots of small pictures of Yetis on the back of it. It's a nicely designed um, instructional manual. Getting started with the Yeti Pro. We're not going to look at that. What we want to see is not this piece of styrofoam, but what's under it? Now keep in mind, this is my first time seeing this product too, so forgive me if I have a few nerdgasms. Well, I struggled to get this microphone out of the box. Okay, that's not coming out that way. There we go. That was kind of hard to take off. Ooh, yay! Candy. I love when they include candy. I'll save that for later. Alright, so here it is. This is the microphone. It, it came put together. That's kind of nice. Now, the big difference between this microphone, the Yeti Pro, and the first microphone, the Yeti USB, is right down here. Here you can see the USB port. This is to get the audio from the microphone into your computer really easily, really quick. And actually, this USB port comes on the original Blue Yeti microphone. But what the original Blue Yeti microphone doesn't have is this XLR out. The reason why it's important to have this port here is because this will allow it to let out into mixing boards, into giant monitors and generally it's just thought to be a better output than your normal USB cord. Basically, the XLR is the analog out, and the USB port is the digital out. And maybe you don't know much about analog versus digital, but trust me, analog is always the better quality. If you ever have the choice between analog or digital, analog is the way to go, because you can always convert that into digital. But with digital, you can't always achieve the great quality of analog. For those of you familiar with XLR outs, that might look a little strange to you. Usually it's only three prongs, but here you can see five prongs. But the reason why that is different from most XLR outs is because it's an XLR left and right. This is what the microphone plugs into. You can see the five holes there, and then it comes out into this. Those of you familiar with XLR cables are probably a lot more familiar with this. Why would it even need left and right XLR outs? That's because this records not in mono but in stereo, so it'll pick up from the left and right, and of course it helps with the quality. I'm really excited to start using this, and I know exactly what you guys are waiting for. You're waiting for a test to hear what this microphone sounds like, right? Well, consider your weight over. This right here is the Blue Yeti Pro microphone test. As you can hear, it's a lot better than the way I just sounded while we were doing the unboxing, and it's certainly far better than any other microphone I've used yet. And I've used a few, actually. I've got this MXL microphone here 
that uh that I was using for a little while. And it does really well. It does great with audio, but it records at such a low volume. While I was testing the sound for the Blue Yeti Pro microphone, I noticed that it picked up the audio at a much higher quality. And in fact, there's a knob on the Blue Yeti microphone so that if you don't sound loud enough, you can actually turn up the gain to make yourself sound louder. I've worked a lot with microphones that put out a low level of audio, so I'm probably not going to touch the gain knob too much since I'm already used to messing with audio on the computer. But for someone who doesn't want to deal with that, that can be really handy. It's good audio, right? It's great audio, I think. I would compare it with this microphone here, but honestly, they're so close in comparison that it's not even worth it. But I can tell you that between the two, I definitely favor the, the Yeti microphone. And I'll tell you why. First, the Yeti plugs in with only this USB cord. And like I showed you earlier, it can actually use the XLR out at the bottom of the microphone. That USB cord just goes straight into your computer. I've got it looped all the way around my desk, but it goes straight into your computer and you can use it from there as a microphone. With this microphone, it only goes out through XLR, which means that you're probably going to need phantom power which is what I have for this microphone. It didn't come with a stand, and it didn't come with this piece here. These are all separate things for it. And then from the phantom power, you need an XLR out to mini in. And just doing the math, that's already four extra accessories going into using that microphone. Then this one. This microphone is just much easier. Like I said, the quality between the two microphones is actually really close. And just so you know, I'm using the Yeti microphone. I'm gonna get really close so you can tell. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely not using this microphone. Like I said, the Yeti puts out better audio levels. This usually records at a really, really low audio level, so I always have to bump it up, which also means I'm bumping up the noise floor. Right now, I'm pretty much just yapping, so I'm gonna try to cut this short. I'm really satisfied with this. I got the pro version of the Yeti microphone so I could use the XLR out if I needed to. I just feel a lot more comfortable with having that option, especially since I've already worked a little bit with XLR technology. But really, if you're just looking for a good sounding mic, I think the regular Yeti microphone will do just fine for you. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. By the way, this is a new channel and I plan on releasing all of my uh, tech reviews on here. It seemed like a lot of people liked my iPad 2 unboxing video, and I hope you guys like the unboxing and review of this microphone. And to be honest, I kind of enjoy doing this, so I'm gonna try to make this a little bit of a normal thing when I get new products. So, please feel free to subscribe to this channel if you want to see more tech reviews, and if you're just interested in seeing more of me, you can check out my vlog channel right there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.